So we've got a vector v, and we're given the x and y components, and we want the magnitude and direction. This isn't too hard. The magnitude of a vector is equal to the square root of the sum of the squares of its components. So we take the square root of 9.8 squared, because that's the x component. So I guess I should write out the formula first. It's the square root of v sub x squared plus v sub y squared. That's the formula. So we put in our numbers. So that's the square root of 9.8 squared plus 6.4 squared. You don't even really have to put the negative sign because the square cancels it out. And if you put this into a calculator, then we get 11.7 units. So that is the magnitude of the vector. That's the magnitude of v. But now we also want the direction of v. So the formula for the direction of a vector is the angle is the inverse tangent of the y component divided by the x component. So for our purposes, it's the inverse tangent of the y component, which is negative 6.4 divided by 9.8. And this gives us an answer of negative 33 point one degrees and this is a negative angle so that means that if we were to graph this out on a on like a, on an, a set of axes then that means that the angle will be pointing in the bottom right quadrant which makes intuitive sense because the x component we're given is positive so it'd be to the right and the y component we're given is negative which means to be down so all of that makes perfect sense all right that is it for this problem I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing as that'll help me out in making more videos like this. And if you have a request for a future video, leave a comment down below. Hope you all have a lovely day. Bye-bye.